let's see. I wanted to, oh, I want to play this little video of, this is going to be, I think this is going to be the strategy for the Democratic Party. Uh, really? Leading up to the election. They're just going to, anytime there's criticism of Joe Biden or he has a gaffe, this is now what they're doing. They are calling it uh, a cheap fake. Oh, I heard about this. <laughs> cheap fake is the latest buzzword the White House is using to seemingly discredit the raw, unedited footage we see of President Biden. Oh, Internet. Where did she get that dress from? Like the Raggedy Ann collection? or what is Probably TJ Maxx. Yeah. Hey. And cognitive decline on full display. They are cheap. Mervyn. Uh, they are done in bad faith. Uh, bad faith. Oh my God! What's going on? I yeah. Think, and uh, you know, I was on a podcast the other day, and this happened too. I think it's just a have, thing. With uh, have been very clear. Have shown that these right wing, uh, the white wing critics of the president have a credibility problem uh, because of the fact checkers have repeatedly <laughs> caught them pushing misinformation. Yes. Tell us more about the credibility problem, woman with a weeping <laughs> willow haircut. Yes, yeah, she's part of the wig party. <laughs> Very much. Information. We're seeing these deep fakes. I saw that in a ShamWow commercial, actually. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. This is really bad. Yeah. Uh, almost... These manipulated videos. Uh, and it is, again, done in... Tina Turner looks great for her age. <laughs> no kidding. Left a good job in the city. In bad faith. Since the unveiling of this word, cheap <laughs> the, fake, in the press. Oh, the pressed secretary. Why would anybody watch my show? In this room, the media is not <laughs> you have an, an audience. <laughs> why? Why am I even doing this? What are you doing here? Did what I am fall I doing down? In my life? <laughs> Should I go back to opening boxes? <laughs> for it coming to the defense of the white house but it stems from a question asked about the viral footage showing the president appearing confused during d-day commemoration and his recent trip to italy for the <laughs> <laughs> ah, there we are there is so much misinformation disinformation all right let's see what i got <laughs> what is this from a p.o box yeah just nation as we've been like, talking huh, about ticking. that's about odd the video of the president wandering and it's not true right the president wasn't wandering he was talking it to was uh, a parachuter wandering. that was right in front of him but the yeah bullshit talking to a parachuter my ass he was talking to a parachuter <laughs> uh, saw what happened even an italian newspaper had long no. no he wasn't the parachuter's not looking at him He's on the ground like what He's not moving his mouth. Neither of them are moving their mouths or looking yeah. at each other. Yes, the President to Biden was parachuter. confused. The translation reading, quote, long pauses, eyes closed, weak voice. That's Biden the thing about, about this is the they'll call it like a right wing media conspiracy. But a lot of this stuff comes from the foreign press originally. Wow. Right. Like the whole thing about I, a lot of people think the Biden uh, leaving a dump in his pants at the Vatican thing was just like right wing media in America. No, that was Italian media that reported that someone's. Or, yeah. They're like, whatever the how do you say in Italian? Whoever smelt it, dealt it. Yeah. That's what happened. Boppity boopity, I believe. Whoever supplied it, denied it. Yes. Yeah. Whoever denied it, supplied it. Long paused, long pauses, eyes closed, full underpants. Weak voice. Yes. Look at that. Yeah. Oh, he thought this was a parachuter. Isn't this somebody in the National Guard? Yeah. Oh, and he's not even looking gray? up. No, he's looking out into the woods. Look at him. He's doing a hello darkness, my old friend moment. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I, I, color me persnickety, but I tend to think if the president of the United States was addressing you, you probably would look up. Right? Yes. You would get up and salute and shake his hand or do the whole thing. It's wow no he's just it, I don't it's know. just like the whole thing where he's supposed to have bent over and uh evacuated his bowels right at the yeah. day thing and it's like their damage control was he was getting ready to take a seat but he paused there for like 45 seconds so what's worse him dropping a dump in his trousers or him pausing before taking a seat for 45 uninterrupted seconds like which <laughs> which is worse because I don't know. Bad. I think that's debatable. Wow. And it's like, this is so, they're, they're doing so badly, but 
I mean, they're just going to steal it again. It, none of it. I tend to think like, well, none of it really matters. Like Trump could win so overwhelmingly again, but they're just going to. I think we just need to figure out mail-in ballots and right. do what they do. Well, Scott, do it they, they got Scott Pressler in charge of a lot of like that stuff. I love Scott Pressler. He's fine. And he was talking about how we're going to have like the biggest mail-in ballot <laughs> Good. ever. I'm like, yeah, oh, he's boy. like going to jails, meeting uh, inmates, telling yeah. them to vote. Meeting next boyfriends Yeah. Scary. <laughs> Italian newspaper headline suggested President Biden was confused. Right. The translation These reading, the quote, local Italian pauses, eyes closed. <laughs> weak voice, Biden and new doubts about health at the G7. This new messaging from the White House comes at the A perfect time. Face. Yeah. Just in time to be for the fair election, and falls in line to with Italians, anyone not doing this. That Biden's 2024 yeah. campaign is he was making to... almost no hand gestures. <laughs> <It> was <laughs> nothing. Couldn't understand him. He wasn't. <laughs> he had almost he, he just ate gelato the whole yeah. time he was there. Con conspicuous a lack of facial grease. <laughs> Be more aggressive in pushing back against so-called misinformation. The Biden campaign's counterpunch strategy to fight what it considers to be misinformation. I love the typing, the typing yeah. hands over the White House. <laughs> it's like an He's 80s like music video. The White House Director of Digital Strategy, <laughs> Rob Flaherty. He seems gay. It was reported Flaherty previously <laughs> sent bet. pressuring emails to social media platforms like Facebook to remove. We've content established from the White that House someone is typing. Pressing information. Wow. So even still, they're they're up to their their usual tricks of emailing the different social media platforms. Like, hey, can you remove these uh yep. the videos of Biden uh, just being fucking old and nation relating shitty. to the COVID vaccine and censoring the infamous Hunter Biden laptop story. The trend of repeating these cheap fake and deep fake buzzwords may be part of these latest efforts. Mm -hmm. But the recent push to try and that literally means nothing. It's not fake. It's, yeah, it's actual uh, footage. It's yeah, when, what happened. When you have a video and it's like, there's enough people in the audience with enough cell phones. How many are you going to claim are fake, right? Can you imagine if like Michael Richards had done this when he dropped the N-word? <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's a fake. Fake news. <laughs> fake news bunch of, I mean, what? Uh, Von Beowulf, FGB's full quote to the parachutist. I just wrapped my pants, you dog-faced pony soldier. <laughs> there you are. Oh, wow. So sad. I bet like, they're all so want, tired. Do, of they, do they really want him to have been talking to the soldier? Because the last time he did, he called him stupid sons of bitches. Remember that? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'll never forget the time he said, look here, fat. Like, just <laughs> called someone fat. He's fat. just going to drop the hard R at some point, isn't he? Yeah, like it's just I, gonna happen. They could at least make it fun. They're probably all so sick and tired of covering for him. They're like, none of us thought that this would be going on this long. Like right. we are as shocked as you are. But what's the alternative, Kamala? Freaking. That just shows you how bad, how fucking retarded she has to be for them to like not let him die. Like, oh yeah, not take him off his Adderall long enough for him to pass away. Yeah, uh, they got so the great big green reanimator syringe at the ready. Yeah, the they're like, no, we have to put him in his back to tank each night because Kamala yes. Harris is just that retarded. You think he sleeps in like the Michael Jackson hyperbaric chamber? He sleeps upside down. <laughs> yes. 